Hello guys, you're back, back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 2019. The given question is, consider a relational table P, Q and R. How many tuples will be returned by the following relational algebra query? Okay, so this is a bit of big query, right? Yes. Okay, so let us start. What shall we execute first, guys? I think anyone we can execute, right? So let us execute this first part first, then we will move on to the next part. So this is a symmetrical difference question, right? Yes, okay. Yes. So first of all, let us perform a P into R, or shall we check this? So I think checking this will be really easy, right? Yes. So let us compare and perform that thing, guys. Okay, yes. So we are checking in between P and R, right? Yes. So P, Q, and R are the three table names. Okay, yes. So let us start. So first let us perform this only and then we will check that condition guys. because at that time it will be easy for me to solve, right? Yes. So if we perform Cartesian product in between P and R. So if I perf if I want to perform Cartesian product in between these two, what is the common row guys? The common row is a Y. Okay. So if I am checking Y, so that is a nothing but this condition, right? So PY I am checking with RY. Yes. So that's what I also want to check. So I think we can directly start writing it. Okay. So we will have the columns X, Y, Z and V. So to be clear here they are saying that R dot V value should be equal to V2. So indirectly these two rows are not allowed, right? Yes. So now the only row which is left out is these two rows. So now I think it will be really easy, right? So X1, okay. So Y1 is not available here. So this row will not get a chance. This Y1 is also not available here. So this also will not get a chance. Here we are having Y2. So it will match. So X2, Y2, okay, X2, Y2, Z2. And here we are having, okay. So even this also, okay, so just give me a second. So X2, Y2, so this will, all, okay, so just give me a second, guys. I'm doing some silly mistakes here. So I need to strike this off and I need to unstrike this, right? Okay, and we are checking V2. So these two rows are allowed. So X2, Y2, Z2, V2. So this is one row. And after that, this row's work is done. So basically, so let I think uh, Y2, V2. Okay. Yes. So these two rows are gone and these two rows are available. So this is mapped with this. So this work is done. And this V4 will not, sorry, Y4 will not map with anyone. So this is done. So at the end, we got only one single row, right? Okay. And the funny thing here is, uh, so I think everyone can directly answer this, right? So the answer might be 1 or 0, guys. Because here we are doing symmetrical difference. So if this particular row is available in this particular table, you will get 0 as the result. If not, 1 will be the result. Got it? Yes. So let me write it neatly. So it is x2, y2, z2, v2. Okay, so everything is 2 here. Okay, yes. So now let us execute this particular thing. So here we are trying to perform in between q and r. Okay, so again it is Q and R. So let me rewrite R guys. Okay, so it is a Y and V. Y1, V1, Y3, V2, Y2, V3, Y2, V2. Okay, yes. Okay, yes. So now what we are checking is we are going to perform in between Q and R and the common row is again Y guys. Okay, and that's what we are checking here. And we are checking Q dot T is greater than 2. So Q dot T should be greater than 2. So this will not get a chance and this will not get a chance. So indirectly we are left out with the two rows here also. Okay, so now if I perform in between them, okay, so I think I can analyze here only. So whatever I might get the result, I will never get a Q2, right? Right, sorry, X2, right? Yes, so the answer is 1, guys. Anyway, I'll continue, so don't worry, the final answer is 1, okay? Yes, so this is also done. So now let us perform Cartesian product. So X1 with Y2. So is there Y2 in this particular thing? Yes. So here we are having two Y2s. So we are, we are going to get X1, Y2, 5 with V3 and V2. So X1, Y2, 5. So moving on to this Y1, so we are having only one Y1. So X1, Y1, 6, with V1. So this is the result. So if I perform a symmetrical difference, I am going to get this as a result. So the final result is a 1. Got it? Because this is not available in this list, right? Yes. So I analyzed it with the first value itself. So here we are having x2. Here we are having x1. So nothing will match. Got it? Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question, right? Yes. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.